quicker you have that, the quicker you build that winning culture within yourself, right? right? And once you won once, then you know how to do it. And that's exactly what Ray has done right. in the previous match. He won it in the exact same situation. Right. All he had to do was hold on and he managed to hold on. But and it was crazy. The, of course, it was crazy. <laughs> Remember right. this last game? Is Knight f3, d5, g3, a kind of an invitation right. to a Catalan and maybe a reverse Benoni. Should you play c5? Mm -hmm. I could play c4. But we know that that uh, Wesley likes bishop g2 castles, d4, c4, Catalans, and he's avoiding certain variations that Ray might choose. Now here... I like uh, to play bishop g4 here, but maybe it's too. not that... Me too. I like to play knight f6 and bishop b5, but I know that g7, g6 has really been getting uh, a lot of approval and attention. g7, g6 is definitely one of the top moves. The C4. problem is this is what, she, what he lost. Uh, in the millionaire chess. <laughs> oh no! Do you remember yes. the game? Bad, I remember the wow. game. Bad yes. memories. I remember yeah, the you game. Don't play you don't play then. Just six. So well, well, well because it's in the Grunfeld. It's in. Ah, uh, it's, it's here in my we opening. go. Okay. G six and Bishop G two, Bishop G seven, D four, and then he played this. He tried to stay stable with C four, C six. Play this Slav Grunfeld type of hybrid. And he couldn't hold it. He couldn't hold it. Wesley, I think, came if I remember correctly with a Queen A four move very early on. Mm -hmm. Something along those lines, definitely. D3, that's a little uh, timid there. I was, I was very much expecting C4 and or D4. D3, yes. Uh, an indication he's going to play Knight D2 and G7 E4. Now. Yeah. That would be a kind of a interesting reverse that's one King's way. Indian defense. You can also go for the reverse Benoni structures with C4. Right? C4. Anything to be said for... Let's say knight c3, castles, a3, and play a kind of a <laughs> pano king's Indian defense with, uh, with a tempo up. Yeah, with or... an extra tempo with rook b1. Uh, that would be pretty funny. Uh, in this position, what's your take? Knight d2, e4? What, yeah. are you, what are you expecting from Wesley, Anastasia? I think maybe yes, knight d2 and d4. Your tempo yes, up in a King's Indian doesn't kidding, necessarily yes. guarantee you an advantage, but what he really needs to do is get a game with lots of pieces on the board exactly. and with Ray consuming a lot of time. He that's said what it. he did, 92. Yeah, he's on 92. The board. And that's what uh, Wesley, it's not that he's going to get a winning position out of the opening. What he wants is a fight. It would be uh, nice, of course, to get imbalance. the winning position, but it's of hard course. to achieve. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really hard to achieve against uh, top players. And so let's see what Begum, position. what Begum, uh, what is Begum trying to do. They have exactly the same position. <laughs> no, this is very funny. Are you kidding they me? They have exactly the same position. And that is remarkable. Really nice. Do they have the D2? Yeah, this is hilarious. The if the game had, it had copied one another, wouldn't that have been, like, epic? <laughs> exactly. By the way, we do see knight g4. It is kind of funny. Uh, uh, rook e1, b6, c3, takes, takes, knight g4. My goodness, e5? e5? I mean, uh, so the echoes using the fact that this of both games. Was on g2. And by the way, there's a big discrepancy with the clocks. Yes, already five minutes ahead. Close More for six, Wesley. Yeah. 14 against 8. Well, like even 6, yes. Mm -hmm. By the way, not for nothing, but there is a, a massive strategic threat of just going h3 and driving this knight H6. into permanent purgatory. You know, you put your knight on the edge of the board. Uh, the old foxes used to say knight on the rim is dim. You can h3, g4. Do it right now. Uh, rook to b8, e6. Wesley. He's going for it. Wesley saying, look, I'm sorry, the tournament, the match situation, I beg your pardon, requires that I play for a win. Nice. Uh, so if we take... Bishop takes, rook takes, rook takes and knight takes. g5. That's his plan. The, Bishop the knights are hanging. The knight and knight d6. Knight takes f2. Queen I mean, knight takes f2. There's some crazy stuff happening right now. The knight is a little bit, how do you say, trapped. Uh, knight f3 is on the agenda. So like queen where d7 maybe to support. Queen ah, but it doesn't work. Yes, knight d6. Well, I mean you've got to do something. Mm -hmm. um, knight d6. I'm sorry, just just to pause because this 
this night is looking very strange. If it you doesn't get back, it. yeah, if it sleep. doesn't get back, like, okay, let me, where should I go with this night? F5. What? Lashes. With Whoa. A f- really? F5. F5. By the way, um, when I see that little circle with the X, <laughs> <laughs> that looks like my ho- school kid homework. <laughs> where, where my parent, where my teacher wasn't so happy. I, I, get, I get the X. You get the bad grade. I get the bad grade. F5, bad grade. Not a move that the, com- not computer approved. Do you guys remember the absolutely, absolutely magnificent game uh, between Artur Yusupov and Vesely Ivanchuk in the candidates where, where you get a pawn to, to the sixth. Um, Yusupov put a knight on uh, F2 and it was all these checkmates. It's just brilliant game. I mean, Off the chart, ridiculous. Wesley's going for it. Brilliant knight game. Knight G5. He knows it from the Yusupov. Look it up. If you, you're not familiar with the game, uh, Yusupov, uh, Vasily Ivanchuk, or I got the colors wrong. Ivanchuk was white, Vasily uh, Yusupov was black. Candidates match, Yusupov won that match in a thrilling, thrilling game. Knight G5, what's going on, coach? Well, six minutes, really down under for Ray Robson right now. He's in the trenches. This one is not looking good for him. He knows it. Right. You can see it on his face. He's not happy. Right. There's a lot of pressure piling up. Some flashbacks from what happened in the first game where he was, in fact, lost in the first match in the must win situation for Wesley. One of the things I noticed in this match is, especially when Ray has the initiative, he's feeling good. Yes. He's got the type of game, he's got the type of position. Likes, and he's played them extremely well. Uh, on now the flip side not... of that, when you're defending mm-hmm. and you're seeing ghosts and you're seeing a, all the things time. that your opponent can do and it's not going well, uh, it's not so easy. You Knight had to play E5. this move. Let's speak Okay, no, I'm not sure. What is, what is happening after H3? Probably Knight H6. Yeah. That, is my dream. I'm trying to drive you to that extremely passive square. Maybe I thought the move F5 two. was to give... <laughs> Maybe we should do what Anastasia yes, was. Like Maybe knight, knight F2. F2. Knight F2, okay. <laughs> I, know, I mean, I mean it is, it's two, two minor pieces, Let's right? Let's wait and see. Is he gonna take? No. Knight H6. Knight H6. Yes. I don't like this decision to strand Look at the knight on h6. You're going to have to go king h8, knight g8, g8 knight yes. f6 to ever get back in the game. I'm thinking this is strategically gone. Yes. It very well could be. Maybe no, queen a4. This one the six, it's really unpleasant. With the intention of playing knight to f3. Mm-hmm. And if I could ever get my bishop to f4, who. Hallelujah. Exactly. Oh. I mean, this pawn on the six. Wow. Exactly. It's, uh, where That's this huge. Bishop goes. Yeah. Uh, I, I had this in uh, my book, The Art of Strategy, uh, The Winning Chess Strategies. Be very, very careful who you invite for dinner. <laughs> 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 Maybe the tiger eats yeah. you. You know, this pawn on E6. If you don't win it, it's going to cost you the game. This looks terrible. This looks like for Wesley. What's that? Uh, dream say? Position. Ideal, a when dream you, when you position. When you want to win. When you the, have to win. And the Don't the invite the fox into the hen house. Yeah? Right? Yeah. That kind of thing. Something along those lines. Yes. How I about mean, Alice? What is, what is we, her plan? As we leave. Excuse me. I apologize. H3. Knight H6. He played knight F3. I wanted to keep queens and. Ray didn't trade queens, knight to d3, bishop f4, takes queen d7. Mm-hmm. Whoa, 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 Uh-oh. whoa, whoa. Check that move up. That's not a move you want <laughs> to be facing. Queen to d7, bishop to f3. I don't know, but this looks completely dominating, <sighs> if you ask me. I mean, bishop if you touch that queen, F3? you know that knight is landing on e6 next move. Oh, don't even think about it, right? Bishop takes f3. 
And what on earth is Ray going to do? By That's the way, one. it's a three to one. I think he will somehow give his one. exchange. Three to one time advantage suddenly. Nine minutes for Maybe Wesley. Maybe he'll take on three d7, minutes? rook d8 and kind of... What are you doing? D8. e7 is hanging. Also oh, e7, yes. I mean, I was trying to give an exchange, but take this pawn on d7. But <laughs> it seems like <laughs> you don't want to give it to me. Bishop d5 check. Rook also takes e7. Coming, yes. All of these oh, no. threats. Well, keep keep going, keep going. Oh, there keep there going? is a very pretty uh, Please. point in that position. Show me. Rook d8. Which rook? This. Whichever you want. Let's okay. say rook f d8. I'll take a pawn. I'm don't a pawn don't don't take it. Don't, don't take, take, it. take it. Just play bishop d5 first. Okay. And king. What checkmate you found? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> I grab my king and I do a Jennifer U. Uh, <laughs> if you go Egypt. there, yeah. then it's right. a checkmate with a knight. Very nice. nice. Yes. Nice. And this is a nice checkmate. Nice. And the thing is, if you go king h8, rook e7, you cannot move the bishop. Everything against checkmate. Okay, you can so go knight g8 if you want, and allow me to then... go knight f7. <laughs> <laughs> also well, not nice. <laughs> um, you have no moves. This is an absolutely moves. wonderful uh, it book. It looks not great for a... Domination All in the ending by Kasparian. And this is domination in the middle game. And, and what this means, if Ray, if Ray loses, or Wesley wins, however you want to phrase it... Yes, it means we have, we have a, a tiebreak, blitz, blitz. tiebreak. And by the way, be in, ready for two games at least. In his blitz tiebreak with Fabiano, I want to say that I thought Wesley was very impressive. Bishop f6, rook d1, b5, queen takes a7, queen b6. We've caught up with the players. Uh, desperate situation for for uh, Ray Robson. Exactly. And you would love to take that knight on g5. <laughs> <laughs> but if you take it, where the knight it, goes? Yes, you lose the, the piece. So, so, so just, sad. Ju just to emphasize the point that um, Christian wants to make, imagine you get a position like this and you get rid of this knight <laughs> and your knight on g8. And even g8. if you manage to get the knight. <laughs> When will that knight ever, <laughs> Terrible. ever, this is so ever sad. get re liberated? The correct answer is never. That is you a could go terrible to G4. prisoner. No. Yeah, I waited for you to go yes. back to G8 before it goes. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Okay, that's one of the bad news. Uh, the other bad news, your pawn down and your opponent's pieces are all better than yours. Yeah, rook D7. Rook to D7, that certainly has my attention. Um, Wesley about to win on demand, guys. This amazing. is huge. Um, really and by the way, does. Ray Robson has played a wonderful, wonderful tournament. It's not like, you know, he's beating an out-of-form Ray Robson. He's beating an in-form Ray Robson. Rick D7, we did see a queen trade. I think and he's taking Ray Robson at his peak right now. Exactly. But by the way, B4, I suddenly realized for the first time this f4 pawn had never been a liability prior to this moment. And suddenly, after b b4, rook, cb4, rook takes b4, I'm back in with a shout. Mm -hmm. But so maybe. Was that rook d7 the right idea? Idea. Ah. But do you have a threat, is the question. So maybe. I don't really want to play this move, What's but I'll that? play it. What move don't you want to play? C4 was the move that I didn't want to play. I understand you, but you are willing to trade, of course, this pawn on B2 for this pawn on E7. Absolutely, yes. 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 If you take on B2, I'll take uh, I'll do it in a nasty way. Uh, I'll make you play A4. So at least in this case... You have, you B have the B pawn. I have yeah. a B pawn, which will be troublesome. It is a bit annoying, but I do yeah. have the e-pawn, which is also extremely powerful. So Agreed. It maybe it will be those, enough. Uh, Rook c7. Or we, 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 we both get what we want. And the thing is that bishop, your king is still very unsafe in the position. Yeah, I mean, there was also like rook h7 and... Ah, no, no, bishop g5. Yeah. It's not the end of the story. Rook no. h7 is actually... I was actually thinking about bishop d5, e7, seven, but it's not working. I think you're right. I think we're going to see the move c4, and you were right, Christian. C4? Right on Right what on the, the money. Now, the thing is, I have to play b3. If I don't play b3, mm -hmm. I'm afraid white plays b3, completely shuts down any chances of counterplay. Remember, you can't play rook a8. 
the Bishop on A8 patrols along diagonal. They're so actually B3. The they yeah. Yeah. B3, on the board. A4 on and the And look board. at time. It's seven minutes against two. Yeah, and Less again, if two. you don't take this pawn, my dream is to play Bishop to D5 and exactly. Rook to E2 and shut down everything. And then slowly, slowly, my A pawn will, 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 will win the game. The problem oh, is I'm really is. worried about that king after bishop takes b2, takes yeah. c7. Yeah, it's the king just is far more vulnerable. Not... And That's your easy. b pawn, look, it's a beautiful pawn. It's going to go to b2. I'm going to go rook b1. No, the problem is yes, yes. bishop d5 will be a threat. Exactly, it's exactly. Crazy and the ideas. clock is suddenly a threat again. Uh, Ray Robson down to... A minute and 15 minute, seconds. Under a minute and a half, yeah. Maybe he was also checking rook before, but it's rook bishop d5. Before divide. bishop d5. Yes, yeah. yes yeah. nothing. Mm -hmm. There okay, we he go. Takes, no, this takes was B2. his only chance and he goes for it. Agreed. Agreed. It's not, it's not a beautiful... But what can you do? You have to, <laughs> I mean, you have to take your chances. Exactly. So probably bishop of six back. Probably I have to say, Wesley is also playing very well against his opponent's clock. Yes. So this I like your move yesterday. rook c7. He did promise that, yes. <laughs> but also, I think I like rook c7 best. Uh, the, Maybe the rook d7 I, as well. Pardon me? Rook d7. It's funny. I wanted to be able to give my bishop the square. If, I, if ever I go e7 and you and go then rook e6, yes. how about rook to b7? Just to emphasize ah, rook b7. the importance of my e pawn. Yes, good move. Also um, nice. Let's say I take. Take, take. Now I go rook e8. Rook e8, and now we finally. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, the promised land. That a pawn, yeah. A no. pawn. Is running, yes. I mean, it's just the difference. The knight. The difference between the pawns, right? Oh, oh he did play rook d7. Your, your first instinct. Uh, Just because whenever you try to exchange that... I think any move rook. is good. That's a problem. Probably. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, like, position looks really bad for black now. Somebody was, uh, said that my position was so good, it was impossible for me to find a bad move. <laughs> By the way, do you go bishop b2? b2. b1. Rook b1. Defense against b1 idea. I would have considered bishop d5. Agreed. Why? Why? Because this, can do this, it next move, no? it, 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 it's checkmate. These are yes. checkmating ideas. I would but, have stopped and right. thought about it. But, but rook b1 is a must win way. game, rook b1, you know, Keep play it quickly, doesn't hurt. 30 seconds, 30 for seconds Ray. for Ray, and he just played the move rook d8. Rook d8 on the board. Okay, I so think that I move was required. a5. A5. Let's keep going. It's, I mean, I am. The, the worst part is I have two very powerful pass pawns. Yes. A5, A6. Yeah, this He's is reaching what, for yeah, it. He wants to play A, A5. Yes, now it's over after that. That wow. pawn. Wow, oh, guys. Oh, how do you stop that pawn? I don't you, think you, you don't. can. I mean, you just don't. The correct answer is no. You don't. Look at this yes. bishop from F3. Bishop on F3. Controls everything right Those now. Pl players who play the Catalan. This is a this is a dream position, right? Yeah. The bishop on f3, patrolling the long diagonal. Opposite color bishops. So, Seventeen yeah. seconds. Wesley so winning on demand. You just got to tip your hat and say well done. That's just so impressive. Let's see the spy cam on on Ray Robson right now. And uh, rook to b3 by Ray. He still believes. Uh, he's not going to believe for a long time, uh, much longer. He still a6. believes. A6. If you play rook to a3, rook takes b2. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the nasty. nasty. Hello. Bishop d5 was Maybe his choice. Maybe this knight will move once in this oh, game. Oh, bishop d5 check, excuse me. Ah. Bishop to d5 check forces the king to. Oops, excuse me, I got it wrong. King h8. Bishop d5, king h8. And only now, a6. a6. Yeah. Apologies for my little mishap. That's yeah. very nice. Rook a3, now, now rook takes b2. And yeah. I'm even finding a checkmate. Shall yeah, those on patterns on are there. there will be a checkmating. Checkmate. And four seconds, three seconds, it's not. Rook a3, did, I think rook b2 will be. Did, did he make yes, the move he, with just two seconds on his clock? 
or one second? Was it two or one? It was close, but yes. it's not about the clock. The only anymore. victory that Ray Robson can get right now in this game is not allow Wesley to flag him. Uh -huh. <laughs> because if he flags him, then you know Wesley's going to be extremely happy about it. I predicted right. these things, guys. <laughs> right? 96, game over. Yeah. Okay, six. Takes and me nine, two. 96 is on the board. Yeah. I think now he will see the re resignation. Yes, he, he resigns. And what wow. which means? We have uh, playoffs in Blitz. <laughs> and we have playoffs, yes. Wow. We have to jump quickly to Ellie's yes, game. We do. Because actually yes, we do.